Hello! Hi, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome to my channel. My nose is currently blocked, but that is okay. We're just gonna get through. We're just gonna... We're just gonna do it. Do the video. So today I'm gonna give you guys tips on what to kind of like do on days where you feel like you're having a bad body image day. It doesn't really matter what stage you are at in your self-love, self-acceptance journey. These days always end up happening or little moments of this. Sometimes they last for days, sometimes they last a few minutes to a few hours. So I just wanted to give you guys some tips that have worked for me. First of all, I just want you to know, completely normal. Do not beat yourself up about it. Do not spiral into that phase of thinking, oh no, now that I'm at this stage, it must mean something horrible. Or the fact that you're having these thoughts, it's that you're going backwards in your journey. Because it's not, it is always gonna be a little up and down phase. Self-acceptance isn't linear. And I think it helps to know that and reassure yourself of that. Okay, so the first tip I have is if mirrors are a trigger for you, just simply cover the mirrors in your room, in your house, so that you don't have to look at them. And try to avoid looking at your phone camera or anything else that may trigger you. You can simply put these away. You don't have to look at yourself on days where you don't feel so good. It's completely okay to do that and you're allowed to have that boundary with yourself. It's something simple and easy that we can all do. So. Okay, the second tip I have is getting an anchor thought to help you remain in the present moment and stay present and bring yourself back to reality and the here and now rather than focusing on your thoughts. An anchor thought could be something like naming five things that you can see around you, naming five things that you can feel around you, naming five things you can smell around you, naming five things you can hear around you. So I usually don't do a <laughs> taste for this one just because Usually the four of those ground me enough already to ignore the fifth sense, which is taste, so I won't go around licking things. Um, anyway, so this helps a lot with getting yourself back grounded into the present moment and using all those senses as a anchor thought to kind of distract you from the negative thoughts that you're already having. So this is especially useful if you're spiral thinking and kind of ruminating on all of those bad thoughts and kind of going like, oh no, I look bad, I can't go anywhere, what is going on? I can never show myself again anywhere. You know how it just like goes on and on and on and you just want a stop to that. You just, you're like, okay, stop. Five things that I can see around me, this light, the tree outside, the mirror in front of me, my phone, and my phone stand. Okay, this one's kind of like a little different, I think. I don't know, I don't really hear this that much. I don't think I came up with it though. I definitely heard it somewhere, but I've been using this for years. So basically <laughs> what I like to do is give myself five to 10 minutes to just rant every single thought that I can possibly think that is like negative because sometimes you can't immediately stop the spiral thinking and it just keeps ruminating in your head and repeating and repeating. So I'm just like, okay, cool. Set a timer for 10 minutes and think every single thought just really just think it all. And then once the 10 minutes is up, give your brain a name. I call mine Karen. It's self-explanatory. <laughs> so bad. I swear, Karens, I have nothing against you. It's just because of the societal name. It's easy for my brain to just instantly pick that out. So yes, once the 10 minutes is up, you have your brain name. You can say, okay, Karen, I hear your concern, but we've already discussed this. We've already talked about it. So you have to come back to me another time setting a boundary with your own brain, you know? <laughs> and then it's kind of like you've gotten all those thoughts out so you don't have to think about it anymore and you can kind of move on with your day. I found that this works especially well if you have like all of the thoughts in a certain room and then you move physically out of that room once you're done with the 10 minutes. And then when those thoughts come up and you've gone to a different room, you're like literally physically also separated from it. Because psychologically the brain sometimes needs a physical distance as well as the physical reminder of already having had those thoughts so it can kind of like detach the two and compartmentalize the two ideas and things into different areas and be like cool yes i agree with you we did do that <laughs> so the next tip is counteracting your negative thoughts with acknowledgement and then reframing it into a positive fact so for example if i was thinking i hate how wide my rib cage is i would stop and then be like, okay, I acknowledge that 
I think that my rib cage is too wide. Why? Because of beauty standards and the society we live in, we are exposed to constant things saying that our bodies are not enough. Acknowledging that those are all created narratives by society that we don't have to subject ourselves to. So that is the acknowledgement of the thought. And then after that, you reframe it into a positive fact, such as for me, if I said my word, my rib cage is wide and I don't like it. My rib cage is wide? Sure. But it still does what a rib cage is meant to do, which is protect my lungs and keep my internal organs safe. So realistically, even though I may perceive it as something that doesn't look like it's good enough, it is doing a good enough job and it is doing an amazing job. So cannot say negative things about it. If it's working well. <laughs> okay so the next tip is to start working on your hobbies or doing something that makes you feel creative, smart, and just productive and to kind of like make yourself feel better after talking badly to yourself to kind of like tell your subconscious mind that you are actually worthy enough and you are good enough as you are and you don't need to change anything about your appearance and your appearance isn't equated to your worth. And by immersing yourself into a hobby or doing something that you like, you lift up your mood. Things that I personally like to do is meditating, reading, journaling, working out. My latest favorite thing is to, like, it can be something as simple as this, going onto Pinterest and looking at, like, pins of nails and getting, like, nail inspo and then just making, like, a little plan for what I want to do when I get my nails done next because that is like immersing myself into a different thing. It is distracting my thoughts into this other thing that makes me happy and shows my like creative side to myself. So I'm like, yay! And it's super fun. So yes, find a hobby that will be easy to come to as a backup and be like, oh, you know what? I'm just going to do that instead of like talking badly about myself. So my next tip is avoid going on social media or if this is impossible and you have to be on social media, I recommend unfollowing or muting people that make you feel bad about yourself because social media is so prevalent in our lives and I know that it's unavoidable sometimes and at the times that you can avoid it, great, amazing, good, fantastic, <laughs> because it is a massive trigger, especially for bad body image in my personal opinion. But yeah, I also suggest following pages like mine, um, shameless self promo. And there's so many other pages that do similar things in different subcategories of body acceptance, body positivity, body neutrality. So definitely recommend having a look and trying to find what fits you and making your feed kind of like have more of these things that you're like constantly seeing as reminders rather than seeing some of the content that would make you feel insecure or have bad body image or affects your bad body image and also when you do realize you've had bad body image from certain things on social media i recommend writing them down on your notes and kind of like seeing a trend if there is a trend or if there is like a certain person in that case either unfollow them but if they are like your friend or for whatever reason it would cause chaos or be problematic for unfollowing them you can mute them easily and yeah kind of remove them from your viewing for as long as necessary because you're allowed to make those boundaries with yourself and make your social media viewing a fun and pleasant time was fun as and fun and pleasant as it can be and also just avoid reading comments on majority of things because I realized there's a lot of like toxic discourse that goes around there so I highly recommend just not doing that because there's always arguments or fighting and it just kind of like brings the mood down so avoid as much as possible but I know curiosity also peaks and I always want to know what people are discussing about so it's like a little just just be more mindful about it next time <laughs> And also because social media has such a massive role in changing our perception of what bodies look like naturally, like not many people are posting their bodies existing, sitting down and relaxing their tummies fully. You know, it's usually like people showing their highlight reels or just so many different things that are just like very much highlights or positive things about their lives. I know more and more people are sharing like the struggles and more of the hardships and speaking up about that but I know there is still a lot of the highlight reel so just be mindful while scrolling as well. And my last tip is remember that we are our own worst critics and we are the hardest on ourselves so I promise you that all of your thoughts that you are having on your bad body image days are not always 
the truth because we are hard on ourselves. I feel like every thought that I have on bad body image days, like no one would come up to me and say all of that to my face. Like nobody would do that. That would be really messed up. So why are we doing that to ourselves? Be kinder to you because you deserve love and kindness and appreciation. Also realize and remind yourself that your purpose in life isn't to look a certain way. You are here to have a whole life experience and do so much more than exist to look a certain way. So because of that, we shouldn't be placing all of our thoughts and time and energy into the way we look. And sometimes when I remind myself of that, it kind of like gets me away from the thought and makes me remember that there is so much more out there that we can place our focus on. So that's also a nice little anchoring thought that I like to think of. But yes, quick little tips video for you. I hope you enjoyed. If you enjoyed, please hit the like button because it helps me out with the YouTube algorithm to recommend my videos to more people so, so that hopefully we can help more people accept themselves because I know it's hard out here. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in the next video. Bye!